what's up everybody it's butch from southeast cichlids uh, this is my 180 gallon lake tanganyikan community setup that i have <clears throat> in my office at home uh, it's a six foot tank two feet wide standard 180 gallon uh, it's acrylic and i am running uh, the current loop current USA loop on this tank and those are all universal rocks stackable rocks <clears throat> as well as a few of their floating rocks uh, to give it kind of a, a cave look as uh, a lot of the fish that I'm keeping in this tank uh, love the different crevices and caves and spaces to get into um, and they do that uh, up top as well I uh, do have some Parasipochromis uh, in this tank and uh, they spend a lot of time uh, hanging upside down in caves uh, and so they really love those uh, floating rocks So let's go take a closer look at this tank. Got a group of Neolampologus lelupi. Some Julia Chromis, Neolampologus daffodil, which are super nice. That's the, the big male. Really nice fish. Um, uh, Neolampologus cardiopunctus. There's a Parasipochromis, blue neon. Uh, those guys are just starting to show some good color. Super cool fish. Uh, like I say, they spend a lot of time um, underneath these floating rocks just hanging upside down. Autolampologus uh, compressor set fire fin. Got several of those in this tank. Neolampologus boucheri, super cool. I love their uh, eyelids, not really eyelids, but the, the yellow around their eyes is just cool. <clears throat> All you Malawi guys, uh, you know, these are a little different. Uh, Malawi is awesome. You know, don't get me wrong, uh, a lot of flashy colors, immediate uh, satisfaction, if you will. Um, with some of these Tanganyikans, uh, uh, more specifically, the, the ones that I'm keeping in this tank, uh, it's not that they're super flashy, although they'll, you know, get better as they get bigger, but uh, it's a lot of subtle uh, colors and, and details uh, that you just don't see from across the room uh, you know like you would on a, on a big Malawi tank you know like getting up close to a daffodil and really appreciating their colors and their fins I've got a, a bunch of shells in here I've just recently added a new group of uh, shellies they're Brevis, uh, wild caught Brevis. 
and everyone's kind of uh, hovering uh, up higher because they think I'm going to feed them. Uh, usually they're down in the shelves and they haven't exactly established their little community yet. But you can do a lot of different, a lot of different technique and setups. Um, also different from Malawi. Typical Malawi show tanks are, uh, you know, one male of uh, each half or, or peacock or whatever you're keeping. Um, your tank tanks are different. Uh, typically, you want to keep large groups. So if you're keeping Trophius, you want to keep a large group of Trophius. If you're keeping Frontosa, you want to keep a group of Frontosa. Uh, this is along the same lines, except, uh, you know, you can keep uh, a lot of different types of fish. Uh, it's probably the closest thing to a freshwater reef uh, that you could do. And I've still got several other fish that I'm going to add to this and keep growing it. Um, but it's very, very busy in a good way. Lots of action. Fish are always moving. So if you thought about setting up a Tanganyikan tank, I think if you're already enjoying Malawi fish, uh, you would really enjoy keeping some Tanganyikans. And even though this is a 180, uh, you don't have to have a, a big, big, huge tank uh, like you would to keep haps or peacocks. You know, typically you want to keep those in a six foot tank uh, 125, 150, 180, 240, you know, end up. Uh, with these guys, I mean, you could pull off. A sweet Tanganyika community in a 75 gallon. Um, you can do a lot of cool stuff with the Shelleys uh, in, in 20 longs. I mean, yeah, just a lot of flexibility and, and different ways you can set tanks up for these fish. And again, you know, you don't have to have a huge tank uh, like you would with Malawi. So, any of you Malawi guys or anyone who's been thinking about trying it, uh, you know, you don't have to get a huge tank. Uh, get your feet wet with a, a 40 gallon breeder or a 20 long. Uh, the Tanganyikans are a lot of fun. Um, especially in a setup where you can keep so many and they all kind of have their own little deal and uh, behaviors which, as they grow bigger and mature, uh, it will be a lot of fun to watch in this tank. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or want to get into something like this, uh, feel free to get in touch with us. Sales at SoutheastCichlids.com website is southeastcichlids.com uh, hope I gave you some ideas and thanks for watching